What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news for you and some questions as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day has to do with the next iPhone and how big those displays are going to be. So let's talk about that. And then we also have a roadmap of things to what and what to expect with the next iPhones in terms of their display technology and cameras on top. So let's talk about it. So this information is coming from Mr. Ross Young. Mr. Ross Young is saying that iPhone 13 Pro currently has a 6.06 inch display. The 14 Pro has a 6.12 inch, or at least it will have, so it's a little bit bigger. The iPhone 13 Pro Max has a 6.68 inch currently, and then the 14 Pro Max will have a 6.69 inch. And he says the difference is, is due to the pill and hole replacing the notch and the narrower bezels, but he also put another text saying he meant to say that you can expect the 15 and 15 Pro Max to have the same sizes as the 14 Pro and Pro Max. So whatever we're going to get on the 14 Pro and Pro Max is, you know, the six board is at 6.12 and 6.69. You should also expect those same sizes to come along to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And then to go along with this, he also put out a roadmap of what he expects to see from Apple iPhone. So check this out. So he put a little tweet again saying that based on the technical challenges remaining for under panel cameras to meet discerning brands quality requirements as well as panel manufacturers cost requirements. I still believe this roadmap makes sense for the iPhone and he shows that the iPhone 14 the standard models will still have the notch. The pro models will have a pill plus hole look to them and then in 15 they'll both have a pill plus hole uh, look to them and then the 2024 only the standard model will keep that pill and hold model Then you would actually get potentially in the iPhone 16's Under panel with face ID plus a hole and then continue that on 17 for both models 18 You would still get the face ID under panel and hole But then on the pro models you would get under panel face ID plus under panel camera so you wouldn't really see anything at that point. So here's the way it looks like before iPhone actually does kind of what Samsung already does. Now, I'm not saying Samsung's amazing for doing what they've done because the under panel camera on the Z Fold 3 is garbage, um, but still, it's I, I guess iPhone and Apple are probably doing it at the right time as that, as that technology matures and catches up in line as, as well as any other camera that was just sitting on top. Next up is about this phone, the Galaxy Z Fold for the front display mostly on here and how big it actually is and it's nice because we uh, and actually how light the phone is going to be as well and we have some controversy over that so let's first talk about the front panel and what to expect from it so and we've seen this before but this is a rough draft of what the Galaxy Z Fold 4 potentially will look like on the front and inner displays for that new Galaxy Z Fold 4 but he goes into a little bit more depth saying that the screen width of the external screen is almost the same as that of that of the iPhone 13 mini screen, which I think most people can accept. And just, you know, something what to expect of what it potentially could look like on that front display, that iPhone 13 mini on the left. And then we have a little bit of controversy because Ice Universe is saying that the Fold 4 is very light, lighter than he thought. It's amazing, and that's kind of what we heard, that it's gonna be light, but he's saying it's gonna be very, very light. But then we have Ross Young on the other side of this, responding to Ice Universe, saying the panel is actually much thicker, so the frame and hinge must be make up for it. So it sounds a little bit like, are we gonna have a phone that maybe isn't gonna be as light as we thought, and it would be more in line with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, or it's only gonna be very, very marginally thin, uh, lighter, or what is it gonna be? So that's, that's where the controversy is coming. For me, this doesn't feel overwhelmingly heavy to me. This is pretty comfortable for me. I, need, I, I can see some people grabbing it, but well, it's heavy, but I'm so used to it. And um, I don't know, it just doesn't blow me away in terms of its weight. It, I'm comfortable with it. So anything lighter is gonna be like, hey, this is great. Uh, even if it's marginally thin, uh, lighter or even in the same weight as this, it's, I don't think it's gonna bother me personally. But that'll be your question of the day. Is the Galaxy Z Fold line of phones too heavy, and too thick and too this and too that? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that boom. First question comes from Quentin. 
Quentin, Quentin. Uh, K says, do you think a slight change in screen size will affect the aspect ratio at all, being that all apps already don't fit properly? I think if anything, they'll fit better, um, especially if, I don't know, that's a good question. I think on the mm, outside, outside skinnier display, smaller display, I think that'll probably still be fine. The inside display, man, I'm hoping that's one of the reasons they're changing is so that apps do fit better. I know you can mess around with some of their aspect ratios, but still, it just doesn't seem to physically fix everything about it. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it fixes it, but we'll, we'll see. Original is asking, do you think Samsung should add a 67 watt or 120 watt turbocharging to the fold lineup? Although doing this could decrease the battery size, Mr. Who's the Boss explains how faster charging means less battery capacity. I, I mean, the battery's already pretty small, so I would, I, but yeah, I want faster charging. Give it to me, so I'm all for it. Original's back with another question. My mom is going to buy the Z Fold 4 when it comes out, but lately she's been saying, should I get the S22 Ultra instead because it's cheaper and more durable? Could you make a comparison video, please? Or if you can't, then pick a comparison when you see this comment will be incredibly helpful to convince my mom to buy the Fold 4. I, I've said a million times, if you've never tried a Fold phone, you, you have to give that to yourself. <clears throat> and if you wait, the longer she waits also, the S22 Ultra is probably gonna drop in price. So I would say wait till the Fold 4 comes out, get the Fold 4, get the insurance for that phone, set it for breaks, you can get it replaced or fixed. And it's just a, such an interesting phone to try out. It's really worth it to at least try it because you can return it within two weeks uh, if you buy it from Samsung and not have to worry about any of the um, uh, anything about it pretty much unless you broke it. But definitely get the insurance whether you buy it. S22 Ultra is always going to be there at least for the time being. So I would say wait for the Fold 4. Give that a chance. It's definitely an interesting device. And our last question comes from Call. Calm Cool Collective. Uh, where do you think the Fold line up is headed in terms of progression after the Fold 4? What do you think that the pinnacle of the line will look like include? I think ultimately it's gonna get thinner and thinner and lighter and lighter. And I think um, it'll be more power efficient because of those things. Meaning that the, the battery probably won't get bigger because they're gonna to wanna to make it smaller, the phone smaller. So I would expect the battery in the phone to get, probably battery will stay the same, body of the phone will get much smaller and much sleeker and sexier. Um, and I'm hoping eventually they'll come out with a pro version of it. Um, but other than that, I think those are the main two things I think we'll see in the future of the Fold line. So there you guys go, that's your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question and we'll see you down the road. Peace.